Hey guys, thank you for joining us today in this video. We're going to show you how to make LED flashlights using things that you could find at a store near you or online for cheap. And you can do this at home. So let's just go ahead and get started. You're going to need a popsicle stick, a binder clip, a CR2032 battery, an LED light, and some copper tape. So grab a popsicle stick and your copper tape. You want the copper tape to be as long as the popsicle stick if you haven't already done that. So we're gonna take and take the white off the bottom of the stick and be very careful. What you wanna do is pull one edge up just like this and then put one edge before you pull it all the white off, one edge on a popsicle stick and then follow it down with your finger. Make sure you get it on the popsicle stick and flatten it out really good like this on one side. What's really important here is you want to make sure that you get the copper tape all the way to the top of either side. So this is going to be the path for our circuit to follow. So we each have a popsicle stick with copper tape on each side. We're going to take our battery. Now this is our power source for our simple circuit. We're going to take our battery and a binder clip and secure it to one side. Put the battery and a popsicle stick flat against each other. Take the binder clip like this and clip it on there and fasten it. So we each have our circuit made with our power source and our battery secured in place with the circuit. Now we just need to light something up and that's where the LED comes into play. Now you take your LED and you wanna make sure that you put one side on one side the popsicle stick touching the copper and the opposite on the other end. Now look, make sure that you notice if it doesn't work, try it the other way. And it should light up. And that's a simple circuit. You have a power source going up the path that the electric current flows through to light up your LED. LED. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. The LED light has a positive side and a negative side. The positive leg is longer than the negative side. The battery is the power source for the LED. The positive side of the battery connects to the positive side of the LED, while the negative side of the battery connects to the negative side of the LED. The current travels from the battery to the LED, which gives it its light. If your LED doesn't work, what may happen is your battery may not be on the right side. This is what's really cool about doing stuff like this at home, is if it doesn't work, you have to figure out why and try it again. There's always an answer for why something isn't working, especially in simple circuits like this. So here's a trick with this battery. You wanna put the text facing you like this and secure it in place that way. Hey, cool. It works. See, if yours isn't working, it's because metal's not touching the copper and the battery and running a signal up to the LED. It's the way electricity and currents flow, especially in electronics. Got it? Now that's a complete way to make a circuit. Now what's really cool is you don't have to have the popsicle stick and the binder clip. You can go straight from the power source to the LED because the actual LED itself has wires, a positive and a negative on it, and you can just touch them like this. But having this popsicle stick with the copper tape shows electricity and current and how they flow. Thank you for joining us today.